you know, you go back to those Senate lunches. I, I, I won't identify anything, but I'll, I'll tell you several people raised a question just like you did there. Why are you trying to throw five Republicans under the bus and make them vote for raising the debt ceiling? And, and I'll tell you my response. My response is I don't want to throw any Republicans under the bus. I would like to see all 45 Republicans stand together and actually do what we tell our constituents. The Wall Street Journal called you uh, the minority maker. Uh, and the idea there is that, and this is really what this is all, uh, what's all about, is that uh, you force Republicans to take votes that could hurt them in their races and could put the Republican Party in the minority again. Do you not want to be in the majority? What's more important to you, being in the majority or party purity? Uh, Dana, I want to win and turn this country around, and the way we lose is not standing for anything. On a human level, I know that you're in Washington fighting for the grassroots but you are a human being, and you are sitting with people around you who I would think that you have some respect for. They're fellow senators in your own party. For them to be so mad at you, so mad at you, what's that like? Oh, listen, I, you know, it, what I try to keep, keep an eye on is, is that I don't work for the party bosses in Washington. I work for 26 million Texans. But as Texans. a human being, you are a human being. Look, Does as, it sting? A, as a human being. I can't control what they say, how they behave. I can control what I do. So every interaction that I have with every senator, Republican or Democrat, is consistently civil, courteous, respectful, treating them with, with the dignity they deserve.